Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. In today's HitFilm tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a face cam into your videos completely for free using HitFilm Express. We'll be going over two different methods of creating a face cam for your videos. The first is just removing the background, uh, leaving you with just you in front of whatever it is you want playing in the background. And then the second method we'll be going over is how you can add a border and a background to your green screen footage so that then you can move this frame around anywhere in the image. This is a very popular style. Uh, I'll also be including two images in the description down below. Uh, if you click on the link it will take you to a Google Drive where you can then download a zip file with these two images in. Uh, one of them is a border and then the other is an alpha map. I'll be showing you how you can use both of these. Something else that's going to be down in the description is some timestamps so you can navigate around this video to get to the different uh, stars you want to use in your video. Hope you enjoy and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe. Anyway, let's get on with this video. The first face cam style I'm going to be showing you is how you can create that transparent background style. It's actually really easy to do. So all you need to do is grab your footage and create a composite shot out of it. I've already done this and I also masked out the edges of the frame. Then all you need to do is key out your green screen. So I'm going to be using the color difference key and also the hue and RGB key. If you have HitFilm Pro then you could use the chroma key uh, effect or if you have the chroma key add-on, then you could also use that. I have created a more in-depth tutorial on methods of keying, and I've also got a separate tutorial just for how to use the chroma key effect. So you can go and check them out if you want to. I'm just gonna play around with these settings until I get a nice clean key. I'm also just going to activate checkerboard background just so I can see more clearly where the clear parts of the frame are. Now that I've keyed out my footage, all I need to do is go back to the editor where I have got some uh, screen recorded footage that I got from my PS4. Then I'm just going to drag and drop the transparent uh, footage that I just keyed out onto the timeline. If I'd done a better job at keying this out, then there would be cleaner edges around the side. However, I didn't do that good of a job at that uh, because this is just for a demonstration. Then all you need to do is move your footage around in the frame until you get it somewhere you like. Now it's time for the second style. What you want to do is create a, another composite shot from your footage. I'm just going to duplicate the transparent composite shot because I'm going to be using the same uh, key that I did. Then I'm just going to rename this to face cam border. Then I'm going to load face cam border and as you can see it's the exact same as the transparent one that I had before. Apart from now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop the two images, so the face cam border alpha and the face cam filler mat alpha, onto the timeline. These two images will fill the screen because I exported them slightly larger than the frame, but all you need to do is right click and select transform and fit to frame, and then these two images will both be shrunk down so that they fill the frame exactly. For now, you can just hide the mat because we're going to be using that again in a bit. If you want to customize the border, that's quite easy to do. I'm going to be using a fill color, however, you could also use a color gradient or any other fill effects you want to. I'm just going to drag and drop the fill color effect onto the border, and as you can see, it will immediately take effect. Then I'm just going to select the select color box, and in my custom colors, I already have my YouTube channel's kind of electric blue saved, and I'm just gonna use that for this border. But you could fill this with any colour you want, you could change the uh, blend amount and all of the other settings. And now you've done this, you might notice that your footage will be peeking out slightly from underneath the border. So that is why I created this mat. So if you just want to drag your mat back up in the layer stack and reactivate it, you'll see that it is white in the areas where there is the border. But, it's, but it doesn't appear in the areas where it isn't. Basically, this map will tell your green screen footage where and where not to be displayed. To use it, all you need to do is grab your footage and then go over to the effects tab and search for set mat. Then all you want to do is drag and drop this onto your footage. Then under source layer, set this to face cam filler mat alpha. And then leave mat source to being alpha because it's an alpha mat and then change the blend mode from replace to subtract. 
and that's just like completely removed your footage. Then all you need to do is check the invert box and as you can see that will bring back your footage. Once again my key for this example wasn't all that good because I was doing it fairly quickly. However if you spent more time and lit your green screen well then you will end up with a really nice looking key and now you can see that your footage isn't appearing from below the border. And then say if you wanted to reposition your footage in the frame, you don't have to worry about your footage appearing at the bottom because what it's doing is saying don't appear around the edge but do appear within the middle. Then you can just turn off the face cam fuller. It has to stay in the layer stack because otherwise the footage won't know what to do. Uh, so you need to keep it there but just turn it off if you don't want to use it. Then I'm just going to drag and drop my border in and also copy the set matte effect onto the border, now the background. And now we've created this footage within a border with a background. Then to add it to your video, go back over to the editor where you have your footage. And then you can just drag and drop in your face cam border, face cam with border uh, composite shot. And then just scale this down in the editor and reposition it where you want to. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did then please leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or future tutorial requests then please leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to respond to any questions and also make the tutorials that you request and uh, hope to see you next time, goodbye.